Hello. Recently, Governor Cox announced new plans regarding unemployment benefits. Now, we know it has been over a year since the start of the pandemic. Federal programs were established to help allocate funds for all states and their various unemployment programs. The reason being that state funds weren't enough to support the population during the pandemic. States would have struggled to meet the unemployment needs without additional support from federal funds. Going forward, the state of Utah has decided to opt out of the federal unemployment support and return to their state-funded unemployment benefits program. I want to take a moment to explain and expand upon this information, what it means and the reason behind it. It is important to note that 2.9% of the population here in the state of Utah are depending on unemployment benefits. This number is one of, if not the lowest numbers of unemployment throughout the entire United States. Essentially, Utah is leading the nation with low unemployment rates. Statewide, we have between 50,000 to 75,000 jobs available and needing to be filled. Considering the unemployment rate of 2.9% and up to 75,000 jobs open here in the state of Utah, Governor Cox feels encouraged enough to change plans. With a low unemployment rate and high job growth demands, Utah will provide plenty of opportunities for people to regain employment. During the pandemic, some companies have been able to continue operations while unfortunately others had to close their doors because COVID-19 spread so easily, it wasn't safe to be open. This is no longer the case. Businesses are opening again, and where previously there were many rules and regulations, there are little to no restrictions now. Moving forward, companies will reopen and begin to hire as needed for operations. Another important factor has been the availability of the COVID-19 vaccines. Currently, anyone wanting to get vaccinated can easily do so. Getting your vaccination helps protect everyone in the workplace, including consumers, and allows more businesses to open. Now I would like to take some time to explain some specific details. These federal programs established a requirement that any state that used federal funding and now wishes to withdraw from or end these programs must give their recipients 30 days or a one month notice in advance. We are currently in the month of May, so we have our one month notice until the termination date, which is June 26th. We just wanna warn everyone so that you can be prepared to take advantage of this last month to look for employment. As a point of emphasis, we want to remind you that the State Unemployment Benefits Program will continue to function as it did before the pandemic. It is only the federal supplemental funds that are ending. This means that residents of the state of Utah can continue to receive assistance if needed. Utah has always had a process to receive unemployment benefits, and you are still required to go through the application process to receive these benefits. The federal funds received for the COVID-19 pandemic had their own unique rules and requirements the state will be going back to the previous regulations that qualify individuals for unemployment benefits as established before the pandemic. To be clear, with the termination of the federal funds on June 26th, it means that after you file the required paperwork, your last check from the federal funds will come between June 27th to July 3rd, 2021. So, between June 27th to July 3rd, you should receive your last check, and from that point on, you will not receive federal unemployment benefits. Now, I want to explain what will happen and who will be affected due to Utah withdrawing from the federal unemployment benefits. Currently, in the state of Utah, 28,000 people are receiving unemployment benefits. After June 26th, approximately 15,000 residents will qualify and continue to receive unemployment benefits, 
but will have to continue to fulfill the state requirements. This means you will receive 50% of what you were earning when employed. You can expect to receive half of your earnings shown on your check or pay stubs from your previous employment, and this will be ongoing as long as you qualify for the benefit. Now these federal funds were used to cover two things. One was an extension of unemployment services, and the other was a COVID-19 unemployment benefit. Let's look at what happens when these federal funds are terminated. Approximately 11,000 residents were using the extended benefits. Under normal circumstances, a person could be eligible to receive up to 26 weeks of unemployment, this being the maximum time allowed by the state. At the end of these 26 weeks, the COVID-19 federal extension provided an additional 13 weeks of benefits. This option of up to an additional 13 weeks of unemployment benefits will no longer be offered, affecting approximately 11,000 residents. Approximately 2,000 residents are considered non-traditional employees, meaning they weren't employed by a company and didn't have wages withheld for taxes. Examples would be people who are self-employed, temporary employees, seasonal employees working only in the winter or summer, or employees of various events. For instance, at a concert, there might be individuals who show up for the event, perform a duty, and are not retained for future events. These individuals are called gig workers. Unemployment benefits for these non-traditional employees were 100% funded by the federal government without any funding from the state. With the decision to end the federal unemployment assistance programs, approximately 2,000 residents under the consideration of non-traditional employees will lose their benefits. Many of you may be worried or concerned that you will lose or receive a much smaller unemployment benefit. Also remember, we will go back to a 26-week maximum benefit program without the additional 13-week extension, so we want to inform you of additional benefits. DWS, the Department of Workforce Services, has many additional programs which have been in place for many years. These programs offer help, support, information, and all are free services to be used to your advantage. DWS can help you look for employment, teach job searching skills, help build your resume, offer help filling out online applications, as well as additional supports if needed. DWS also offers trainings and support for individuals who may be looking to change careers. Maybe the demand for your field has decreased. With additional training and support, including job coaching services, DWS can help make the transition into a new career easier to manage. DWS can help with the difficulty of finding employment as well as maintaining employment. Once hired, a person may do well and stay with the company long term. However, sometimes finding and maintaining employment may be difficult due to struggles at work, layoffs, job history, or being fired. A person may not have the right skills or experience needed to maintain their employment, which can become a frustrating cycle. The Department of Workforce Services can provide additional support and training, which will help you gain skills to maintain employment as well. If you want to know where to find this information, DWS set up a website at jobs.utah.gov. There you will find all the information you need and more. The Department of Workforce Services has 30 employment center locations throughout the state of Utah. If you need employment assistance, simply find the center closest to you. DWS employees are ready to help provide support and resources for anyone in need. Every location has computer stations where you can look for employment, develop your resume, etc. An employee can help guide you through the process at any one of the 30 locations in the state. DWS also has resources allocated for several safety net programs to provide support as needed. For instance, if you meet the criteria for low income assistance and need help with rent, you can apply for assistance. If you qualify, DWS can offer rent support. If you are struggling to pay for electricity, heat, 
water, or other utilities, there are programs in place to offer assistance. You can apply for the specific assistance you need, and upon meeting their requirements, you can receive assistance. There are also programs to help with your food and nutritional needs. If you need help with medical bills, or if you or your family has medical needs, start with the DWS website. There you will find a center near you and can set up an appointment to meet with a DWS employee who will guide you to available programs that can meet your needs. I mentioned that there are 30 DWS employment centers around the state and you can find all this information and more through their website. Now I would like to mention additional services at our DSDHH centers. Both our northern and southern centers provide direct services to the deaf, hard of hearing, and deaf blind. Feel free to contact us for additional support and services. These are some of our support services. We can help you in your search for employment. Similar to DWS, we can help you in the process of finding and maintaining your job through additional training and support. We provide case management services for other issues that may arise in your life. These services are available if you have questions about how to navigate a specific situation. For example, if you receive an official letter but are unsure what is being asked of you or how to proceed, we can help. We have staff members specifically assigned to help with these kinds of issues. We call them case managers. You can contact the center and set an appointment with a case manager to discuss your questions and what your options are. They can refer you to other support services or programs throughout the state while providing you with additional support. For those who are hard of hearing, we have information and wonderful resources available to you and the hard of hearing community as a whole. We can provide resources for equipment, assistive listening devices, and more. We also provide social opportunities and community education classes to help navigate hearing loss and continue your independence. There are many services available through DSDHH's hard of hearing program. If you are having challenges at your workplace and think the use of equipment or assistive devices would help your effectiveness and overall success, you can contact us for guidance and support. We want to hear your needs, share ideas, and offer advice on how to address your challenges. We can also speak with your employer about options to help both entities succeed. These are just a few examples of the services we provide. If you have any questions, you can contact any of the DWS centers or contact DSDHH, either the North Center or the South Center. We provide services for the entire state of Utah. We hope this helps give you a better understanding as well as ideas about how to move forward as the state of Utah terminates the additional federal funds regarding unemployment. Thank you.